Welcome to Esprit's latest tips and tricks video. My name is Spencer Howen and I am an application engineer with DP Technology. Today I'm going to show you how to utilize the group manager add-in in order to make knitted surface creation easier. The first thing I'm going to want to do is to make sure that add-in is loaded. To do this, I'm going to go to my tools drop down and select add-in. This will open up the add-in manager, which shows a list of available add-ins. I'm going to want to scroll down to where it says group manager and set the load behavior to loaded and load on startup so that it's loaded every time we open a spree. What that does is it's going to create a new icon on the edit toolbar called groups. If I go ahead and select this, this will bring open the groups manager. A group will save all of the currently selected elements into a group that can then be activated at any time for easier selection. So in this case, I want to create a knitted closed surface around this large blend here. So I'm going to create a group of all of these faces. So I'm going to go ahead and select each of the individual items. Now that I have all of those faces selected, I'm going to go ahead and select this new. This will create a new group, and I'm going to call this large blend. So now if I click off of that and clear my selection, I can now activate that large blend, and you can see that I have all of those faces currently selected again. So the last step is I need to create a knitted closed surface. So I'm going to open up my knitted surface toolbar. To do this, I'm going to right click on any toolbar to bring down a list of a drop down list of all of the toolbars. And then I'm going to go ahead and choose knitted surfaces. I want to make sure that my, so my group is currently activated and all of those faces are selected. Now I can go into my knitted closed surface. And you can see that all of the faces are already populated within the dialog box. The last thing I have to do is choose two vertices and press OK. As you can see, you've created a new knitted surface, which looks good. Groups can also be used for other functions within a spree, such as the edit fillet command on the solid modeler toolbar. Again, if I activate this large blend, and then select the edit fillet. You can then see that the faces are already selected and I can go about and edit the fillet. That's today's Esprit tips and tricks video. We hope that you enjoyed it. Don't forget to visit our website at espritcam.com to subscribe to our newsletter for more cool videos. Stay tuned for other Esprit tips and tricks.